Good morning. It's January 1st, 2024. A brand new year. I um, hope you had a good New Year's Eve with family and friends. Uh, we certainly did. We always get together with my brother and my sister and their spouses and playing cards and enjoy the evening. And most of us make it till midnight. And so we have a good time. A uh, reminder of a few things coming up this week on Wednesday night confirmation class at 7 o'clock at St. Paul's. Confirmands, do keep that in mind. Uh, worship services will flip this coming Sunday. St. Paul's will be at 8.30 and First Lutheran will be at 10.30. Also, we have Marilyn Keel's funeral this coming Saturday at 2.30 at St. Paul's. Visitation will be at the church um, from 1 o'clock until just before services. The service will be live streamed, so do keep that in mind if you aren't able to attend in person but would like to at least be a part of the service by watching on live stream. And that will be at First and St. Paul Lutheran Church's Facebook page. So I invite you to look that up. I think those are the announcements I want to touch on today. Uh, today, January 1st, is the Feast of the Name of Jesus. Jesus' name was given to both Mary and Joseph before he was born. And in Scripture, it is always important to pay attention to the names, especially of those people who figure prominently in the various stories in the, in the Old and New Testament. The names often have a very important meaning to them. The name of Jesus, which is a, an anglicized version of the Greek translation of Jesus' name, which in Greek is Jesus, um, is um, the Greek's way of, of writing and speaking the name of Jesus in Hebrew. The name in Hebrew was Yeshua. And... We find that today in the common name of Joshua. Joshua is what um, people would have known him as, although they would say Yeshua. But the name has a purpose. The name means God is salvation or God saves. And so the name that the angels give to Mary, Mary and Joseph about the infant Jesus is his purpose to be our salvation. And so it's important that we pay attention because the name is always valuable. To be named is to be known, and to be known is to be remembered by God. And each one of us, our names, even though they may not have special meaning, are still important to God. As I've mentioned before, God knows us by name. He knows us intimately and perfectly, and he will call us into life out of death in the day of the resurrection. And for that, we give thanks. We especially give thanks that we have Jesus as our Savior, who keeps us close to him by his mercy and his grace. And so we treasure that gift from God. I hope and pray your new year is going to be a good one. And I ask you to take a moment to pray with me. Heavenly Father, I give you thanks for the gift of your son, Jesus, who has come among us to be our salvation who by his dying and rising has set us free and made our names known to you. We are so thankful that from before the beginning of time, you knew us and you have called us your own. And we know that beyond the ending of all things, we will still be yours. And for that, we give you thanks. We ask and pray you would be with all of those who are sick and afflicted in any way, and especially with the Keel family this coming Saturday as they give Marilyn over to your care and keeping. We thank you for hearing us as we pray today. We ask it all in your name. Amen. Well, I look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow morning and hope and pray that you have a good start to the new year. And to all you Hawkeye fans out there, I hope Hawkeyes do better than the Cyclones did. Until tomorrow, goodbye now.